Ladies and gentlemen, welcome in. We have another fantastic war for you today. It's going to be a Synchronic Gaming taking on TWOB, one of the better teams in India, led by Summit himself. Simon in coming early on right here with the Root Rider Valkyrie Spam Queen over at the 3 o'clock side of the base. King and Root Riders coming on in from the 2 o'clock section. RC in from the 12 o'clock side into the Eagle Artillery. Early Raid Spell, Warden Ability catching everything inside of that Eternal Tome and the Healing Tome, keeping everything nice and healthy and immune to any damage incoming. Queen picking off the 3 o'clock side, beautifully overgrowth spell over the Town Hall, Scatter, as well as the Poison Tower on the back end, which is absolutely huge. Rage over that Monolith, allowing it to go down very, very quickly. Royal Champion now taking out that Double Archer Tower. Wall Breakers giving Queen accessibility towards the Wizard Tower and keep on moving on down. Rage over the root riders that are coming on into the twelve o'clock, uh, the nine o'clock compartment rather with the royal champion. Another wall break leading the queen and the king in towards the six o'clock side of the base. King finally forcing that gauntlet ability right there. Absolutely devastating force in by the king, taking down everything in his path. Queen is taking a little bit of damage from that archer tower right there, but pops her ability, takes it down, gets those healers, root riders raged into the town hall section. Now, royal champion will be able to pick it off. Queen should be able to pick off this multi targeting infernal tower, and there you have it. Simon in coming right here. Here with a sub 1 minute 33 star for Synchronic Gaming to open up this war. Beautiful hit by him. Second attack is now in Summit. Is leading the charge. Mr. Captain for TWOB in with a recall Queen Charge Root Rider attack. A couple of Super Barbarians right here making a funnel with a Super Wall Break at the 3 o'clock side of the base. Queen is sending towards this King. Needs to drop those healers. Oh no, they are already down. My apologies. Headhunter assisting with the Queen to pick off that King with the Frozen Arrow. King's going to do hardly any damage whatsoever. Coco Loon incoming to defend these healers from any Seeking Air Mines or even a Red Air Bomb find with, uh, farm, which is something that you find very, very often at Town Hall 16. Now, King over at the 3 o'clock side of the base, the Clan Castle slowly starting to come out with a couple of archers. We are going to have some Ice Golems in there. King fighting the RC at the 3 o'clock side. Root Riders in between the Queen and the King trying to force their way through this base. Triple Ice Golem CC comes out early. Poison spell need to force that King ability. Invisibility spell right there on top of this Queen so she can pick off the Eagle Artillery. King ability is popped to clear out that whole compartment. Root Riders do go over towards that scatter but they are frozen by the Ice Golems. Blimp caught in that Warden ability right there. We did recall the Queen also, and we dropped her at the 5 o'clock, sorry, the 7 o'clock side of the base. Town Hall finally going down, which is absolutely perfect. We wall break the Queen in towards the 8.30 section of the base. Raging the core section of Root Riders with the Royal Champion and the King. King already used his ability at the 3 o'clock compartment. Queen goes down. This could be big problems for Summit right here. Not having that Queen with the recall. The, uh, the Root Riders are fizzling out as well. Only RC ability and one freeze left. But there's so much DPS with the Queen, the Scatter. And that double cannon with the Tesla farm right there. This is going to be monumental damage for this Royal Champion. Is she going to be able to get through with the Fox being dead? This is danger now for T. TWOB and Summit looks like he's going to hit a miss at Town Hall 16, which is something you don't see too often. Skelly Farm does not help this Royal Champion one bit. And this is looking like it's going to be a very solid defense coming on in for Synchronic Gaming. General X holding a very, very good percentage, which now gives Synchronic a huge advantage leading on to this war where they can slow things down and go for three stars rather than hitting those really, really fast attacks. Very unfortunate for Summit. Was very close. If that Queen would have stayed alive, this would have for sure been a three star. But her going down really, really did put a damper on this attack for sure. Trying to pick up whatever percentage he can. 92% at the moment. Won't be able to get much more unfortunate. But there you have it a 92% two star. General X now coming on in for Synchronic Gaming. The captain himself, Ice Golem, right there to tank for that siege barracks at the 8 o'clock side. King 
at the six o'clock section of the base we have got the root riders with the valkyries coming on in from the uh, seven o'clock side queen dropped a little bit further behind at four o'clock right there triple ice golem cc is going to aim to slow things down royal champion now with the siege barrack peckers over at the nine o'clock side of the base pushing on forward king is going to step in towards this town hall compartment with that funnel from the queen which is going to be absolutely massive we force that king ability to fight this town hall also take down this enemy king as quickly as possible down will go that town hall he'll fight that king as well root riders are raged up in the court they're causing absolute carnage in their way right here we have got that warden in behind them royal champion still having her ability which is absolutely huge Ooh, the king with the phoenix takes down that monolith right there rc ability finally goes off bringing out those hogs and that haste vial which is going to be absolutely rapid look at the time left swagging the freeze and one minute 54 seconds left on the clock very fast attack from general x TWOB Werewolf now coming on in against Philip. He is using the Dragons and Dragon Riders right here with a couple of balloons. So we are seeing a very old school a Town Hall 14 attack on this one. Let's see if Werewolf is going to be able to get this one done. Queen over at the 9 o'clock side. A Loon and a Dragon for the Wizard Tower to make a bit of a funnel. Baby Dragon at the 6 o'clock side. King deployed a little bit further ahead of the Queen. Wall break to give a queen accessibility for that ground expo, but her ability is going to be forced. The remainder of the dragons now coming on in from the 7 to 8 o'clock side of the base. We catch the blimp in the Warden Eternal Tome, which is absolutely huge for sure. Ooh, Sweeper's being a little bit annoying. We do get that rage on top of the town hall, but are these balloons going to get there? That's going to be the main issue. Blimp does not take down the town hall. Queen is locked onto by the single target Inferno Tower as well. Things are not looking too good for Werewolf at the moment. King never stepped on the inside of the base. He's now walked his way all the way over to the 12 o'clock side. Dragons do finally eventually make their way onto the town hall. Will they be able to finish it off in time before that freeze wears off and the Sweeper starts pushing them back? Things are starting to look a little bit scary for Werewolf still holding on to his royal champion oh but down goes that town hall very nicely done by werewolf but is it going to be enough unfortunately it does not look like it's going to be enough for twob to come on in and they are going to be doing another miss against synchronic gaming now this is going to be a huge huge problem for twob with synchronic just winning world warm-ups they are one of the most dominating teams in clash in this meta for sure and this is a huge miss by werewolf of twob is he going to be able to get much more percentage 68 percent at the moment this is going to be very very rough for him we're seeing a little bit of orange circle of death which is a bit scary but there we have a 69 percent two star from him unlucky for twob einstein is now in with the zap alalo he's taking on tie up from twob let's see if einstein I'll be able to get the job done. Is he going to zap out a scatter or is he going to go for a multi? We're going to have to find out in just a matter of seconds right here. Six zaps and a quick. We drop that king nice and early. Sneaky for the funnel to force the king over towards the top side of the base. Queen dropped at the 10 o'clock side double headhunter right there ensuring that the enemy queen does also go down we zap quick the monolith as well as the multi archer tower ice golem and giant now coming on in to assist this king a little bit further on a couple of loons from the seven o'clock side of the base just to take down that builder hook, double seeking air mine is found right here as well queen is going to have to force that ability she does that perfectly we have got those healers that are going to keep her alive just a little bit longer king forces that ability with the gauntlet he's in the core he's going to take down all of those multi-targeting infernos what an incredible pathing by einstein with his king he's also going to fight that cc now we catch the blimp in the warden eternal tomb lalo came from the three to four o'clock side rage over that town hall down goes the town hall king with the phoenix comes back to Life takes down the x boy is he going to take down that multi-target inferno this is looking incredible more loons from the 12 o'clock side of the base freeze of that multi-inferno down it does go there's no base remaining this was an absolutely incredible three star by einstein right there coming on in getting the job done picking off another three star with zap lalo for synchronic gaming in a credible incredible hit and look at the time on the clock it's a relatively fast attack as well and that's exactly what you need in this meta beautiful three star and that's another one for synchronic gaming sam is now in for twob let's see if he's going to be able to get the job done a couple of loons do take down the uh was it the mortar 
um, over at the top side. We have got the Flame Flinger. Skelly Dona incoming right here. We don't see that too often. Aiming to get down this Eagle Artillery. Did he want that Clan Castle as well? Doesn't look like he did. Did not deploy any Skellies over at the bottom side. Only Skelly Donaing the Eagle. That's a very, very interesting thing from Sam. Normally, you'd see people take down two or maybe even three buildings with the Skelly Donor, but he only manages to aim for one. Very interesting choice for sure. Flame Flinger working over at the 12 o'clock side. We have got the Lalo incoming right here as well. Cheeky little Skelly Donut. Lalo cannot complain about that one bit. Ice Golem over at the 6 o'clock side of the base with the Queen. King as well deployed. But it looks like the King's going to walk over towards around about the 4 o'clock side of the base. So maybe we can wall break the King in for that scatter shot if that is the plan right here. Ice Golem goes down. Headhunter for the enemy King. Whilst our King takes down these Skellies one by one with the assistance of the Queen. Should be able to take down this King relatively easily. Down he does go. Sam's King working his way over towards that scatter shot compartment. There goes the wall breaker, baby dragon breaking the funnel right here to force the king into that scatter compartment. Queen takes down the multi inferno. Unicorn assisting very nicely, especially with the frozen arrow of the queen. It's not looking too bad. The king doesn't go for the scatter. That's a little bit scary at the moment because that's going to be a lot of damage that we miss out on. And the king also triggering that invisibility spell, also forcing the clan castle troops to come on out. We invis our queen and she's barely in the range of it right there but she might end up fighting these skellies which is going to be a little bit of an issue right here we invis the queen one more time she locks onto the town hall down it goes royal champion now for the other scotter in the meantime the flame finger did a great job over at 12 o'clock side lalo now coming on in from the eight to nine o'clock side of the base pushing on forward the ice golems remember are still alive we have dragon riders coming out of that flame flinger just to assist with this lalo a little bit more royal champion now taking down that monolith with the assist of the freeze her ability has unfortunately already been forced she should be able to take down this poison tower in time maybe she does but that single stays up and we have got a lot of damage on the back end with the end with our rc rather on uh, the defensive still as well we have got that multi arch tower and the ice golem still standing RC is going to start picking off these loons the arch towers doing god's work as well with the ad firing away scatter not taking any prisoners today and that's going to be another defense of synchronic gaming and einstein is actually going to come on in with a massive massive defense yet again for synchronic gaming twob not really able to get a triple at the moment kind of struggling with these synchronic bases will they be able to pick up the war or are they gonna struggle a bit more especially with the pressure from synchronic getting those three stars in relatively fast fast attacks as well here we go philip now incoming, we have bats tanking for the stone slammer. E dragons in from the four o'clock side of the base. We've got the king over at the top side aiming to pick off that town hall with the queen. Headhunters do take down that enemy king as well. Early warden internal tom double rage forcing these e dragons to push way through the base. But we do get a little bit of a nasty split right here, which is not going to be too ideal for Philip. But is he going to be able to keep this attack going? That is the main question. Monolith needs to go down and down. It does go. The core of the base is getting absolutely obliterated. Still have that royal champion ready to go finally we deploy the rc over at the nine o'clock side of the base e dragons are going to be going on down right here at the bottom side but we got a couple of them over at the top side with the scatters raining down shots on them we have got the royal champion are pushing her way forward as well with that ability with two freezes remaining in pocket skellies are slowing down this royal champion a lot but the rc shield managing to, to take down a bunch of those buildings ground skellies not helping too too much but there's not much left on this base that can stop this attack now especially with the fox still being alive with this royal champion keeping her alive and invisible for the duration of the attack and getting rid of all of these defenses in the process queen of course staying alive warden is going to assist with clean up the last defense goes down rc can clear up the top side it's not as quick as philip would have intended with the split at the early stage of the attack but he manages to get the job done adapts to those e-drags picks off the three star and synchronic now have a huge huge lead against twob tie up now incoming a four TWOB zaps out right there the scatter shot which is going to be huge gets a well, gets an expo as well as well as the rage tower so very nice zap value coming on in from tire for TWOB 
Bean Wallbrook went in for that double cannon area with the Royal Champion. His King is going to make his way towards his Eagle Artillery. Healers are now down. We are coming on in with a Queen Charge Ru Rider attack. Let's see how we're going to manage to get this job done. Ice Golem leading the charge for the Queen just to reduce a little bit of damage and potentially freeze these defenses up, which is going to be very, very nice. Queen picks off that Royal Champion. We'll have to fight these Skellies, but it should be out of range of that double cannon, which is completely fine. King pops that ability, picks off the Eagle, but is locked onto by the single target inferno now here come the root riders in from the 76 o'clock side the base multi inferno and double cannon working on that queen together will they be able to take her down doesn't quite look like it blimp coming on in from the six o'clock side of the base we freeze that sweeper nice and early trying to force this blimp to make its way all the way through and pick off this town hall compartment picking a bunch of seeking air mines on the way is this town hall going to be able to go down by tie up now this is going to be a big big issue if that town hall doesn't drop the yetis town hall is not active the yetis won't be able to take it down even with the assistance of the reg the king taking down those mites but will we be able to power on forward we still have the royal champion ability queen ability finally getting popped right there over at the 10 o'clock side of the best super barbs over at the three o'clock side we have got a split on these root riders royal champion still pushing her way through over at the four o'clock side of the best finds a skelly farm finds a tesla farm right there as well we'll have to fight this king off but a bunch of root riders now making their way towards the town hall section diggy stunning it which is absolutely absolutely huge we have got the rc ability one more invisibility spell remaining as well there we have the invis trying to force this queen all the way in for the town hall down goes that town hall is the rc gonna double back for the king you better believe that she is with that tesla do we have enough firepower remaining with these hogs that came out of the hog puppet of the royal champion is the rc gonna be able to carry this attack through and make it work or are we gonna have another miss coming on in from twob down goes the rc unfortunately right there xbo not taking any prisoners as well and this is gonna be another defense for synchronic this time Simon defending Tyre for TWOB, who are unfortunately struggling to pick up three stars against Synchronic's bases. And this is unfortunately going to be the end of the war, as there's no way back in this war for TWOB to take down Synchronic. And Synchronic are on their way to a perfect war. Will they be able to achieve it? That's something we're going to have to find out as this war continues to go on trying to pick off a little bit more percentage with the super bar will be able to get maybe one more collector but that's going to be around it it's going to be a 90 percent unless that minion can pick off the dark elixir storage and it does 91 percent two star from tie up of twob mark is now in for synchronic gaming e-drags are being brought into the equation right here from the seven o'clock side we do take down the cannon at the 6 o'clock section. Queen with the skelly has been dropped over at the 5 o'clock side of the best warden ability nice and early. We only use one raid spell early on. Stone Slammer actually being bought in with these e-drags. A very interesting choice for sure. But we have got a lot of chain value leading on into the core. Town Hall finally gets activated. Queen making a beautiful pathing for these e-drags to push their way in towards this Town Hall. We're freezing the Town Hall. Freezing the scatter shot as well. Not looking too bad at the moment. We freeze the back end scatter everything is slowly starting to fizzle out right here for mark king could be going in from the three o'clock side right there as well but the e-drags have got a lot of value for sure these eagle shots are not helping too much with the poison of the town hall taking down a ton of these e-dragons as well we now deploy our royal champion from the nine o'clock side of the base as we realize that there's not too many defenses up there and the rc can sweep her way down Queen still having ability, King still having ability, Royal Champion also with that ability. It's still looking pretty good for Synchronic and Mark to pick off this perfect war. Is he going to make it happen? Royal Champion is going to lock onto this um, single target Inferno. Will it go down before the Skellies engage? Yes, sir, it will. And that's going to be another three star for Synchronic Gaming. And Mark makes it happen, picking off that perfect war for Synchronic to get the job done over TWOB. And that cements the victory of a synchronic getting the job done with five triples in a row. Final attack right here for TWOB. We got Drago incoming. Will he be able to pick off a triple for TWOB? Or are we going to be seeing a five for five out of defense, which would be absolutely ludicrous, especially in this meta? A couple of rocket loons to pick off the mortar 
at the one o'clock side of the base another baby dragon for the wizard tower at the five o'clock side as well dragons incoming from the two to three o'clock section a couple of dragons used at the three o'clock side to make a bit of a funnel to force these remainder dragons in towards a royal champion scattering ad warden ability very very nicely timed catching that blimp inside of it to push it towards the town hall sweeper pushed it back one time but it's not going to be enough clone spells are coming on down super minion bomb by Drago of TWOB, Invisors and Rage is coming on down, trying to get monumental value right here. Invisibility is going strong. Now the dragons pushing in towards our multi-target Inferno. Super minions need to take down this town hall. Down it should go. There we go. They also managed to take down this king, which is very, very nice. We have got the king and the queen who has yet to be deployed. Um, Royal Champion also has been deployed. Finally, the Queen over at the 6 o'clock side right there. Just trying to clean up the outside. Royal Champion pushing her way in towards this AD ground expo scar shot area. Should be able to pick off this Queen, especially with her ability if she has that haste via locked onto her. With the Hog Puppet, which I find to be an amazing combination for the RC. There we go. Enemy Queen goes down. Scar shot goes down. Builder Hook goes down. But this multi is going to pick off the Royal Champion. Still have the Queen ability. We still have the King ability remaining. One Rocket Loon in a pocket as well. Queen starts to beat the wall for the multi-target Inferno, which is genuinely not a bad thing coming on in from Drago because he might still be able to have enough time to get the job done, especially with one Rocket Loon and that Headhunter for additional cleanup for for the rest of the buildings but we need the king to do a little bit more damage right here to push on through and get the job done multi locks onto the queen queen hopefully oh the queen does not shoot the wall um she goes for that ad instead so now she is in range of this double cannon on the ground expo so we have to force that queen ability very very early down goes that double cannon which is going to be huge minions as well at the top side assisting with this uh defenses to go down which is going to be absolutely huge we send a headhunter a couple of goblins right there just to try and power through this multi inferno oh the the sneaky goblins actually triggering that tornado trap is very very nice but that's gonna be a three star for drago of twob finally getting the job done picking off that three star unfortunately it just wasn't enough 15 stars to 11 for synchronic against twob